Yo, what's up my fellow creative, my fellow graphic designer? Got a question, what kind of graphic designer are you? Saying you're a graphic designer is like saying you're a mechanic. You could be a diesel mechanic, an airplane mechanic, a motorcycle mechanic. Uh, I mean, there's tons of mechanics out there, right? You could be an electric vehicle mechanic. What kind of graphic designer are you? Today, I wanna to talk about the seven types of graphic designers that I think are out there, and you may have some additional ones that you can add to my list, but I wanna share the seven that I think are important and why they're so important and how you can really get the full potential and monetization out of those niches. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into it. All right, so the first type of graphic designer is a print designer. Print designer is actually where I started my career. I started doing just graphic design, like flyer designs and things like that but I quickly started printing these things. And so becoming a print designer, I specialize on doing business cards and doing banners and doing signs and doing storefronts and doing stationery and envelopes and brochures and the list goes on and on. There is a ton of money in print design. Not only can you make great money charging for the print, but you can also make money doing the printing. And when you sell printing and you add that on, you're able to increase the ticket and the lifetime value of your client. And a lot of people need printing over and over and over again. This is how I built and sold my first company that was called Cal Print or California Printing with a K. And so printing is a great niche. It's a great type of graphic design. And that is where my career started as a print designer. So if you're looking to level up, if you maybe you're already doing print design, stay focused on that. I have a friend of mine that's part of our community, Wes, who does only outdoor advertising. This is another type of probably type that I could add into here, but for now, we're gonna keep this under the print design. The second type of graphic designer is a web designer. Yes, a graphic designer is a web designer. They are one in the same. Now, I didn't say web developer, I said web designer. The beautiful part about web design, if that's your niche and that's the area that you wanna plant your flag in and that's where you wanna be your absolute best, you can make really good recurring revenue off of that. And I've made a lot of money. I've made more money on website design than anything else that I've done. I love this niche. There's new websites being built every single day. The demand is insane. And you're gonna get a lot of the people that are gonna be like, well, I can get it done for 500 bucks, 1500, whatever. The, the point is, is that the higher quality you get, the more they're gonna pay. My average website ranges between five and $10,000. That's a big ticket. How many of those would you need to sell in a month in order to pay your bills and live the life of your dreams? Not only do you get the money from the initial upfront to build the website, but then you have the other doors that open to you like hosting that website, updating that website, blog articles for that website, right? And then the second piece is marketing that website. So if you have marketing skills and you skill stack, like I teach about a lot in this channel, you can start to get other types of work and get other revenue coming in off of web design. I think this is one of the strongest niches. It's a really high demand niche. And I think that if you really wanna make a serious amount of money, focus on web design. There's a lot of easy ways to do it now. You can do WordPress, you can do WYSIWYG type sites like Weebly and Squarespace. Just being able to understand the different types of platforms is really important. So if you don't know web design, I have lots of videos on my channel. You can go check those out. The third type of graphic designer, and this is where I kind of, kind of tip my hat to myself, and this is a logo designer. This is something that I've been doing from as young as I could possibly think of. I've been drawing logos, coming up with logo ideas. I'm obsessed with logos. Lego, logos are that first impression, that first thing that the customer sees about your brand, whether it's on a business card, on a sign, wherever it is. And so I really love creating that very strong first impression and helping businesses stand out with a memorable logo. Remember, with logo design, memorable, applicable and relevant, right? These are really, really key. And they gotta be simple, memorable, simple, and relevant. So they gotta be simple, relevant, and memorable. So these are really big key areas to logo design, but you can make a ton of money doing logo designs. I know logo designers out there that are charging 50, 100,000, $150,000 to design a logo. Now, don't get me wrong, they're not doing just the logo, they're creating a brand, which is kind of the next evolution in, into it, which is what I wanted to lead you guys is, that's where the money on the back end comes in is not just the logo design, but what is the brand? The sight, sound, touch, smell, taste, all those things. Those are all keys that tie into the brand. Logo design will lead you to branding, which branding is able to get you a lot more money. The fourth type of graphic designer, and this is one that I have avoided like the plague because I just I don't like it. It's just not my thing. I'm just, I'm just not that guy. Now, social media graphic design. There are a lot of designers that are just doing social media graphic designers. Social media graphic design is a huge niche. It's a growing niche. Lots of businesses want it. 
but it's just not a niche that I'm excited about. A lot of people are doing carousels and they're doing explainers and little infographics. There's so many different things that can open you up with social media design, which opens you up to social media marketing, which opens you up to recurring revenue. Even if you're not doing the marketing itself, you can supply it and partner up with somebody that does social media marketing and you can be the graphic side and you can make a great amount of money doing that. So this is something that I wanted to share with you. I think social media graphic design is a great niche, whether it's LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, all these platforms need different types of designs and you can't just have a one size fits all. You can't use the same graphics that you put on Instagram that you do on Facebook. They all work differently and they should be uniquely designed for each platform and anybody that does it other than that is really not doing the best job possible. So something I wanted to share with you, I think number four is important as a social media graphic designer. All right, so we're more than halfway through and I'm just curious out of these first four, do you do any of these? What type of graphic designer are you? I would love to know. I love getting to know the people that are watching these videos. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what your specialty is. And then we're gonna jump into the next few designers. All right, so number five is something that I actually was almost a little bit uncomfortable putting on this list, but I have done it myself a number of times, most recently with my wife's company, Crunchy Cottage, and that's product design. You may be a product designer, designing product packaging, designing the product labels, the products themselves, all of that. Product design is a really good niche. It's a really explosive niche, especially with everything happening with the e-commerce world, everything going online. A lot of product design is very challenging. You have to stand out from everybody else in the niche. So being a good product designer, you can make a lot of money. You can get royalties on each product. That's where the money comes in. Uh, on each product that sells, you can get commission. There's a lot of ways to make money off the product designs. And if you're really good, you can design your own product packaging and your own products and then have somebody else fulfill them and just drop ship those products. There's a lot of white labeled product design companies and this is where you can get into some really nice income and even passive income. If you design products, you put them up on a website, you drive the traffic and you start selling these and have somebody else fulfill it, completely hands off. You do the job one time and you just get paid over and over and over and over and over again. So I don't wanna beat a dead horse, but I think product design is a really great niche as well. So let's jump over to number six. Number six is interesting. I've only done a few of these, but this is app design. I think app design is really neat. You would use something like Adobe Experience Design and you may be an app designer that's watching this. This is one of the most up and coming, I think, things that are gonna be out there. I think a lot of people are gonna be needing apps. I think people are gonna be migrating away from websites more to apps. So I think this is a really good opportunity for you to take app design and sell marketing, sell a website with it, sell branding. There's a lot of things you can cross sell, upsell, just a lot of great things that you can do with that. So app design is another type of designer that I wanted to make sure that I listed here. All right, the last one, you've probably been waiting for this the whole time, and this is something I've talked about a lot, something I do in these videos, something that I do for my clients, and that's motion design. Motion design is something that Ian is super gifted in. This is what he went to school for. There are companies like School of Motion that teach this stuff. You can go to college for it. But motion design is something I think is gonna be an explosive industry. And if you are that type of designer, not only do I wanna hear from you, I wanna collaborate with you, I wanna work with you. We wanna do all kinds of stuff, whether it's we help you with marketing, you help us with motion design, whatever it looks like, we just wanna collaborate with you with whatever, with whatever kind of designer that you are. It doesn't really matter. We are looking to collaborate and bring you into our community, which is the Instagraphics Pro Network on Facebook. We also have a community off of Facebook that's not on there, that's on our own platform that we would love to invite you out to. If you're interested in that, check it out. We also have a five day sales challenge coming up that's gonna have a link in the description for that as well. So join the Instagraphics Pro Network. Those are the seven types of graphic designers. I wanted to make sure that you got that knowledge because you may be a new designer and if you are, Hopefully this list was helpful for you. So make sure you introduce yourself down below. I look forward to seeing you guys on the next video. I'm Adrian Boysell, and as always, keep looking up.